This is Andre. Without him, I wouldn't even be on this trip. Andre is an experienced traveler, an expert planner, and a great friend in general. Melissa is a friend that I met at Annie's party, which I'll introduce later, but Melissa is a heavy drinker. She'll never resist a drink, and she's such a fun person to be around. You like her? Hi, Grace. And this is Grace. Grace is a friend that I met through Andre. She's a very experienced hiker, a runner, and she loves giraffes, and naps, and food. <laughs> All right, here's the plan. Along with everyone else, I think our goal is to climb the tallest mountain in Taiwan, which is 3,900 meters high, and it's also apparently the tallest mountain in East Asia. But my goal is a little different. My goal is to become the first Burmese person to lick the top of Sri Sun. And I thought it was going to be easy. Little did I know, it was one of the hardest things I've ever done in my life. Can you explain the dish? Yeah, so... I have no idea what it is. Um, I you don't know what you it's ate. All, um, here we have yugao. Not yugao, yuguo. And it's a taro cake. And then I had, a, I had a rice sausage, but it's here now. There you have it, folks. Right. So apparently this is the best uh, doujang hong sa in Taiwan. Grace is too healthy for the sauce, so she got the plate. No. Too healthy for the sauce. <laughs> I just don't like the sauce. So she ordered a plate. Yeah. <laughs> no, just a plate. A plate with egg white. One egg. <laughs> just egg white. <laughs> All right, we're at the what's this called? Painted animation lane. Painted animation lane. <laughs> why? Why they make? Look at his ass. <laughs> <Huh>? <laughs> <laughs> They could have done that a little differently. Well, he's pretty, like, there's a fat spider there. Yeah, they could have done this a little differently. Looney Tunes. This is hella fun. Dragon Ball. Popeye. Popeye, yeah, it's finished. Popeye. Hold on, Trey. Ah. Grace Chang. My god, this is the car racing. I have these cars. I forgot the name. After visiting some places in Taizhou, Melissa recommended a really good brunch spot. It was a little bit expensive but it was actually really good. And that was when we met our fifth and final team member. And that is Annie. I've only met Annie twice before this trip. The first time I met Annie was at her birthday party, which I was invited to because I was in the hiking group. And the second time was our last and final team bonding to plan our trip. But I hope to get to know Annie better on this trip. And yeah, um, these are our team members and we're ready for the hike. What happens when you eat something bad? We throw up. Or you get a stomach ache. And it comes out the poo poo. Um, yeah, what happens when you drink milk? <laughs> Diarrhea. And if there was no toilet but just you and another friend? I don't pull on the <laughs> It's a club in London where I guess people go on each other. Yeah. Obama. Oh, Obama. Yeah. No way, really. That's what he said. Yeah, that's what he said. Are we gonna go there? Do you want to? No She's way. like gonna look it up. <laughs> Are you into that? Of course. <laughs> After brunch, we decided to visit Gao Mei Wetlands, which is where there are a lot of wind turbines and we took a walk in that wetland view so it was a really cool place we stayed there for a while enjoy the place and it was time for us to go to Visa. it's so nice okay i lied before we went to Yurisan, we had to go to Alisan to stay at night because it was on the way and so we took a detour to Alisan. It was also very freaking beautiful. Mm. 
the, s the story is like there's spirits on the mountain that like try to keep people on there, which means they basically try to kill you. So basically, um, past the fence there used to be a suspension bridge, but then it got torn down because of some weathering. Um, and so those guides, the spirits, were basically leading them off a cliff. And over there, it was also cloudy too, so they can't see anything. Even though it was pure daylight, they couldn't see anything because it was cloudy. And so if they kept walking, they would have walked off the cliff. All right, we're starting our Yisan hike now. This is Annie. This is Andre, Melissa, oh. Grace. <laughs> when we first arrived, we had to do a four and a half hour hike up to the cabin where we slept overnight. We're at 2,800 meters in altitude going up Lion Lodge. When I got to the cabin after our four and a half hours hike, I had really terrible migraines. It was one of the worst things I've ever felt. To the point, to the point where I couldn't even talk anymore. Hi guys, so we made it to the high on lodge. My voice is gone. Nobody's able to move right now. We just stopped here. We literally just put on everything we had. I don't want to stop moving. <laughs> <laughs> We're all dying because we don't we need hot water. water. <laughs> so when we got to the cabin, we checked in, we grabbed lunch, and we went and we went to sleep immediately uh, around 7 p.m. to wake up at 4 a.m. Okay, this is our dinner. This is real fun. Chicken. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Hi. Yeah. It's all on the phone now. I can't take out my camera. Your get up? What are you gonna do? My get up? Yeah. These are shoe covers. Such a look, yeah. But my, I have like a children's raincoat for some reason. Uh, I don't know what my problem is. I don't know why I bought that. So my arms don't get covered. So I'm gonna just <laughs> go like this. Okay. It's like the Avengers look. I don't know. Yeah, right? I think it'll be quite good. Actually. I think it'll work out great. So we woke up at 4 a.m. Continue our journey to the tallest point of Taiwan. Doing great, everyone. Nice. <laughs> let's go. Let's get it. You guys, we did it. Whoa. And it was safe to say everything was worth it. And we did it. We did it. That is how I became the first Burmese person to lick the peak of Yuisan. Uh, what have we got here? <laughs> <That's so sad. laughs>